I was 16, pregnant, unwed, vulnerable, and desperate to believe their lies. I was told three lies that day in the abortion clinic, three lies that would impact my life and the life of my unborn child. The first is it's just a glob of tissue, but that was a lie because we know that life begins at conception. The second was I was told your body will heal and be as good as new in a couple of days. That also was a lie. My body was never the same and I was never able to carry a child to full term. The third, when you leave here today, you can forget this day ever happened. Again, that was a lie. That was 40 years ago and every day of my life, I think of that day. These lies and many others nearly cost me my life, my family, my children that I carried and birthed. It did cost me two children and generations of grandchildren. But God, God rescued me, he forgave me, he redeemed me, and he also gave me a voice to speak out for the unborn. He gave me a voice to speak the truth and not lies. As the body of Christ, we need to be pro-love and pro-life in a pro-hate and a pro-choice world. We can't sit back any longer and allow our future generations to be aborted. We must act now. We are closer than ever to reversing Roe versus Wade and bringing life, the importance of every life and the sanctity of life back to the hearts and minds of America. There is a mission field out there right outside your front door. It's in your own family. It's in your church. It's in your community and in your youth groups. We are not in a bubble. It's happening right beside us. It's in the diners and the restaurants that we frequent. It's in our hair and nail salons, in the grocery stores and shopping malls, and in those little boutiques that we like to shop in. Everywhere you look, young women are making decisions out of despair and because of the lies that they hear. We have to be pro-adoption as well. When, when Roe versus Wade is overturned, we will need families to adopt the children that are saved. Decide today right here in Washington, D.C., our nation's capital, that you will take up this fight for the life of the unborn and the countless women who will suffer, as I have, because of their decisions. I am blessed to be here with you to be a part of the pro-life movement. Now pick up your cross, the cause of Christ, and speak truth, speak life, speak love, and speak Jesus. Thank you.